we are uh, downloading and an and uh, installing Unreal. Sorry, Steve. Yeah, downloading and installing Real Unreal. I'm downloading and installing Unreal, um, which is a <laughs> prerequisite for doing any kind of code spells development. Um, a lot of the code spells modding tools are open source, and uh, Justin's going to be installing his code spells dev environment. Starting with Unreal. So, um, yeah, Justin, why don't you duck, duck, go um, Unreal? And for the users out there, it's not required that you use duck, duck, go. <laughs> uh, engine? Yeah, Unreal Engine. And then, uh, yeah, that first one looks right, the most powerful real time 3D creation engine. Um, and then, yeah, it's very easy to get distracted by all the pretty pictures because there's like a lot you could do with Unreal and it just looks super, super good um, as a game engine. But uh, what you want is the blue button in the top right where it says download. And then um, you probably want the publishing license. Uh, so it's get started for free, but pay 5% when your product succeeds. And it, although it doesn't say it right here, Unreal's license is basically that after you make your first million, then you pay 5%. I think it's totally fair, to be honest. I think so, so too. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so select that one. What's the purpose of this one then? Isn't that like completely free at all times? Yeah, um, it looks to me like it's specific for things outside of games, you know, like maybe movies or other like 3D tools, like CAD software or something like that, or for students and educators. And you might be able to say you're a student or an educator, but honestly, I would just get the publishing license as the standard thing. Um, if you make a million dollars off your next Code Spells mod, I think we should all be happy to give Epic. Um, 5%. So yes, so now here's where you, you probably don't have an Epic Games account, and so you do need one. Um, so click, see where it says don't have an Epic Games account, sign up. Let's do that. And then I can do whatever one you want. I think I signed up with my email, but if you prefer to sign up with one of these other things, you can. Yes, Justin was born on New Year's. Just so everyone knows. He really was. He wasn't lying. It's true, I was there. Yeah. 
Yeah, so this is where it says a little more specifically. Um, <laughs> this one's a very fast reader. <laughs> what? Speed reading is a valuable skill, especially when you're signing Justin, don't you, I thought you installed stuff on your Nazi drive for some reason, but... Yeah, I was going to do that, but it doesn't let you type down the thing, and I don't want to have to maneuver any thoughts that get scrolled into the file. Uh, okay. Alright, well that is, um, that is that. Uh, yeah, so, so it might take a little while, and maybe, maybe once you'll chop this part out in the... The final um, cut. The final cut, but uh, assuming she doesn't, we actually have to be entertaining right now. <laughs> uh, I could put on my piano. Uh, I think if you want to be real friendly, you have to dye your hair a certain color. Mm hmm. <laughs> Super. <laughs> so that didn't take too long. That didn't take too long. <laughs> oh, oh, it's doing something. Inside of their launchers, so you're now authenticating in there instead of in your browser. Oh. <laughs> is, there way, is there a way to find what you put in? Yeah, it's but on from the screen again, so that's still connected. No worries. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> It's a one time thing. I haven't had to re authenticate either the launcher in. Well, I don't think I've ever had to. Like a 3D game development with Unreal for code spells kind of kind of thing. Yeah, I'm starting to see that one more and more. It's weird. I, I, I don't like it because the first time I did it, I got it wrong. I'm like, <laughs> which, they all look totally wrong. None, none of them are like straight up. I'm not sure if they Google graphic wrong. Like, one square has a sliver of color. It's like, right? <laughs> right. Who knows? Okay, so, so this is the this is their launcher. What you're, you're going to have to do now is install an engine, because um, they have lots and lots of versions of their engine, and sometimes you want to like make sure you're on a particular version. So actually, one moment, I, I'm pretty sure 4.25 is the one we want. Now, I know I use 4.253, but I mm. think that minor version shouldn't matter. But let me just double check what I do have. Open my Epic Games launcher here. Uh, yeah, so I have 4.25.3. Um, I guess we'll find out if 4.25.4 works. If not, let's just remember we need to 
go back and install a slightly older version. I think so. So this actually might take a little bit of time. Um, I can't remember how long it does take, but why don't we go to the marketplace, which is on the other tab, uh, and there's some nice, like, just free stuff on the marketplace that I would recommend that you snag and stick into your, um, like, your purchased items. Oh, check out those wizard stabs! Ooh! <laughs> Oh, uh, those look rad. Yep. I bet they stole some of our, our designs from the original Ghost Balls. <laughs> on the bottom? Yeah. Dang, those look great, though. I like them. Uh, yeah, so. <clears throat> Yeah, these are really cool. Why don't you, um, all right, so why don't you go back to uh, the top root level of the marketplace, and yeah, so we're at 6%, so we've got some time. Why don't you look under free? Um, let's try free for the month. It's a new month, actually. I, uh, I haven't checked this month. What's going on? Uh, ooh, that log cabin looks cool. That is really cool. Yeah, grab that log cabin, Justin, because like a lot of stuff, like you can put it into a code spells mod, and if it's free, why not? In fact, why this not? This looks like it's a sweet code spells world. Yeah. So oh, I want to be a wizard in a cabin. Right. <laughs> yes. Cool. So yeah, so click where it says free. Free. I can't put them. Uh, try to place the order. Yes. Oh, nice, yeah. That's nice. All right, what else we got? So <laughs> basically, all this stuff you purchase is going to end up in your library tab, and you can like add it to different projects. It's kind of like in your inventory of stuff you own as a game developer. <coughs> <coughs> Uh, so the recommendation is to have 100 gigs free. I don't think the engine itself is that big, but like... To do so work with it, it probably requires like 100 gigs. Do you think you have <laughs> enough free space? <laughs> I mean, you put it on your terabyte drive, right? Uh, yeah, that only has like 850 left. Okay. Alright, I might want to double check then. I did run into like space issues even on my decent Windows machine, and uh, so I've been doing most of my development in the cloud on a Amazon EC2 instance. Okay, so you have enough. I'm curious to see how much it does fill up. I don't think it's going to do the whole hundred gigs right now. So I don't know. I'm just going to ballpark. This is my estimate. It'll be like 50 gigs with some content. 
More free stuff. Yeah, more free stuff. Free! Oh, yeah. Maybe try a different page. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Ooh, attack trails. Yeah, I'm the, the, yeah, attack trails right now. I'm trying to decide if it's something for. Because sometimes just sweet particle effects are like make for cool code spells mods too. Yeah. Could be fun. That'd be cool if not only shows like what things do, but how they look. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah. So it comes with 24 effects. Put some color on. And... That's worth a try. Why don't you? It's free. Why don't you grab it? Sorry, I was looking at somewhere else. Oh yeah, should be under your fault. Yeah, cool. Cool. Um, okay, well I was looking at the next one, which is volumetric glass, which to me doesn't seem too interesting. I mean, it kind of looks cool, but I just can't imagine how to use it in, in codes and spells. What is it? Volumetric glass? What does that mean? Actually, some of oh. the... Some of the uh, screenshots do look pretty cool. Ooh. Yeah, it looks it's underwater. Ooh. The next one with these fish tanks, I thought that looked cool. Yeah. I think we could use that somehow. <laughs> Some underwater world. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, I just don't know if it comes with, well, I don't know, does it come with an underwater environment? Mm. That's a good question. Two types of material, underwater volume and shaped glass. Oh, you know what? If it has an underwater volume, why not? Let's grab it. Because, yeah, you're right. Underwater would be a pretty cool thing to have in good spells. The, um, there's that train yard one, which I haven't, haven't looked at yet, but it's an environment, and those are always kind of nice. But I think that's the most compelling. Well, I mean, having some cool spells is neat, but like a cool place that you are in as a wizard is always nice to have. So yeah. Temperate oh, yeah. vegetation. Yeah, yeah, that one from yesterday. Yeah, I came straight out of that pack. <laughs> I think I have that too. I, I went through the. I've, I've been through it a few times. Uh, the the uh, free for the 
month once for this month or once I have a meeting. Yeah. So can you get a mod and then like change the stuff from inside of code spells or as a code spells modder? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 definitely, yeah, 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 and in fact you can even throw away parts of it, like if you're just like, maybe you're making like a torches mod, you know, and you're like, this dungeon has great torches, I'm gonna steal that asset and put it into my other thing, um, should be fine, you know. And you're allowed to pop it off all these Oh yeah, yeah, I mean, in general the marketplace, like, I looked it up. But yeah, you're allowed to use, buy stuff in the marketplace and use it in in your uh, in mods for games. Uh, specifically, say that and uh, free stuff is just buying something for zero dollars on the marketplace that's not like under a different license or anything. <laughs> Unless it says something, I don't know. Like maybe I haven't come across this, but some specific assets might say do or don't use this in some way or another. I don't know if you're allowed to do that really on a on the Epic Marketplace, but I don't know. Well, can you buy a mod and then use it as like a game instead of the mod for I mean, most of these, I mean, Unreal's a game engine, right? And so everything on the asset store is there for you to buy to make games. Like, that's the pur purpose of it being there. So that, that would, that's even the most, that's the most common case. It's like, I want to make a dungeon game, but I like don't have an art team. Oh, cool! Free a dungeon mm -hmm. asset. Now I can make my dungeon game. Like that's, yeah. I don't know. It is really cool. It does seem like it's like too too good to be true. But, right. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, are these actors made in Unreal Engine, or do they use like some external thing? Like probably a combination of both. Um, I mean, they definitely used Unreal Engine to package it all up. But for three D modeling, they very well might have used Blender or Maya or some other modeling software and making the textures, they could very well have used Photoshop or something like that. So doing the art for games, usually you have some tool chain that has multiple programs in it. But yeah, why don't you grab the, the, um, the dungeon one too. That actually, a dungeon world is one we're going to be making uh, like very shortly. So maybe that could be one you want to <laughs> Yeah, I think so. Because now you can add it to a project. Yeah, I think so. Well, you might have to do a continuation tomorrow. Yeah, yeah no, that's, that's fine. That's true. The, uh, sorry, I'm looking at the permanently free stuff as well. Where was that medieval dungeon? I don't see it now. Oh, okay. Yeah, medieval dungeon I have. Yeah, they yeah. are. Yeah, those do. <laughs> Pretty. Oh, there's like a factory environment. <laughs> yeah. 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 The idea with code spells is like, I mean, we're trying to make it like a this platform so people can make games with it, and we can't like legislate like all of the look and feel of every single game. So I kind of think of the code spells universe as this like multiverse where like I don't know. Yeah, you could be in a medieval dungeon 
in one world and then in a steampunk factory in some other world, you know, they don't have to have a consistent war between two worlds because they're different universes inside of the Coast Coast multiverse. The thing that keeps them, you know, feeling the same is it's the same character and you have your same spells or same runes um, mm -hmm. with you. Mm. Oh, that does look cool. Where is that? <sighs> I might have missed that one. Modular sci-fi. What page is that on? Ooh, I don't have that one. Wait, is it the season two one? Oh yeah, there's two, Modular Sci-Fi Season 1 and Season 2. Yeah. Oh yeah, these look so good. Dang. <laughs> wow. Well, so some of them are released by Epic themselves. Like sometimes they have like a game, like like so Epic, I think occasionally makes games on top of their own engine, like Fortnite. Um, and sometimes they, when they like retire a game, they just put all the assets out for free. So there's there's a couple that are like I, I never played it, but there there's a game called Infinity Blade that that's you know I think it was a franchise over the, a few years, um, and a lot of those assets are out for free. There's one called Paragon that's also out for free, and then I think some of them are like any of that wants to say Quicksoul. I think that was a company that Epic acquired, um, and then they put some of their stuff that they had out. Um, at least that's what Jason told me. Um, but uh, yeah, some of the other ones, I'm not sure. It might be like if you're someone who makes a lot of a lot of like assets, you might put some out that are pretty good for free. Like I don't know, I see one that's from Infuse Studio. Yeah, the Medieval Dungeons from Infuse Studio. So. You know, I'm much more likely to go see what else Infuse Studio has for sale if I already use one of their assets. I think it's a combination, probably, of those things. Yeah, like, they might make um, a couple asset sets that are, like, consistent with each other, and so you might get one for free and then purchase the others. I wouldn't be surprised if some people are just trying to, like, use them as portfolio items. Like, they want to get into the industry, and so they... Just want a bunch of users using their mm -hmm. their assets. Well, cool. Okay, so yeah, I imagine this is still going, right? Yeah. Um, all right, well, good. I didn't think we started it. Um, so, yeah, I assume it will be done by tomorrow. Um, but, yeah, so why?